So welcome to this course, which is an introduction to functional programming using the OCaml programming language. A very famous game developer, a fantastic programmer, John Carmack, once said, sometimes the elegant implementation is a function, not a method, not a class, not a framework, just a function. Well, here we will bring you in a journey which will be an introduction to functional programming using the state-of-the-art OCaml programming language and exploiting it in the size environment which is running right in your browser using groundbreaking technology based on OCaml itself. Yes, this means you will have nothing to install, no hassle, everything will work out of the box. Well, at the end of this course, we really are sure you will understand fully what John Carmack really meant. What are the learning objectives of this course? Uh, we want you to learn how to program using the functional programming style in general, but in particular, we will use the OCaml programming language and use its advanced side type system, discover how to manipulate complex data structures, which are defined by the user in a very concise way, and then start to explore also other rich and powerful features of the OCaml programming language and discover uh, how the ecosystem around this language is been growing dynamically over the last years. The organization of the course is very simple. We will have seven weeks. Uh, each week, more or less one hour of course, which is split in several very short video sequences. You will have many exercises which are checked for you right in your browser. We also provide some additional material if you want to learn more about the OCaml advanced application used in real life by industrial users. And finally, you will have a final full-fledged programming exercise uh, where you will have your hand to, to program something which is interesting. But this will be a surprise for the end of the course. The general plan, an introduction and overview of all the course and the basic notion during the week zero, which is actually the, the one you are listening to. And then we move on and start to learn about the uh, basic data types provided by the language, how to provide definition, define functions. Then you will learn how to uh, define data structures, basic data structure, and then we will progress more into this uh, subject and do also more advanced programming on using data structure. In week four, we will really use the power of a functional programming language, learning how to use, define, and manipulate higher order functions. And then since OCaml is a language which is functional, but not necessarily only pure, and in week five, we will also learn about exception, input, output, and other imperative constructs, because in the OCaml programming language, you can actually modify, modify the state. And then in week six, we will start to learn about the advanced module system that comes with the language and how to use it to uh, provide data abstraction. Well, this week, actually, uh, is organizing a few sequences. The first one, it is an introduction to the course. You, we are right here. Uh, then we will provide you some background on functional programming in general, some history and motivation. In sequence two, we move to the Okamin language, so uh, we learn where it comes from, what are uh, the key features of the language. And in sequence three, to let you understand why we are so excited to use this uh, programming language and to teach it to you, uh, you will meet some of the users, uh, of the industrial users or research users, and see what they have to say about this fantastic system. In sequence four, we will overview, provide an overview of the tools and development environment, and you will take your first steps in the OCaml programming system. And then we will provide you with a brief showcase of some of OCaml's advanced features. The final sequence will just give you a short overview of the available resources. Mm -hmm.